when you're working with a new lighting console, maybe you're completely new to professional gray lighting consoles, or you're just stepping into lighting for the first time, you may see that you have a functionality called groups inside of your console. So in this video, I want to talk about what are groups and why in the world should you use them. Hi, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and groups are an essential part of your programming toolkit. Groups make it simple and really easy to quickly select a number of lights that you want to work with inside your console. So when you grab some lights, say your backlight or your mid-stage truss, you can simply, instead of typing out all those numbers in your command line, you can do that, record them to a group, and then have the ability to quick select those particular lights as a group quickly and easily in order to program. So, this has a couple great advantages. One, any particular light can be in any number of groups. So, you could have this one moving light on your mid-stage. You could have it in a group for mid-stage truss, for set lighting. You could have it in a group for uh, ballyhoo lights, say. You could have it in a group for backlight, if, if it is a backlight for some people on the stage. So the possibilities are endless, and groups can really help you define things really well. Now, a couple things to be really careful about when you're first recording groups. The first is that when you record a group, the fixtures are going to be recorded in that group in the order you selected them in. Now, this is important because when you select that group and then say put your fixtures into an effect, that effect is going to go through the fixtures in the order that you recorded that group. So you want it to be in order that you want that effect to work, right? So usually I just want them to be linear in a nice left to right order as I'm looking at my stage. However, have the knowledge that you can record a group backwards, you can do some random stuff in order to be able to mess with things later. Now, that selection order that you recorded as your group will also be the order that you step through fixtures if you do use your last and next buttons on your console. So again, I really recommend being careful and always doing it left to right on your stage. If you need a random effect, you should be able to do that inside your console's effect generator. So that's that. Groups, pretty simple. Just a quick, easy way to select a group of lights in your console. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hop over to LearnStageLighting.com where I've got a whole post about starting with consoles and how to pick the right console for you. If you like what you see, sign up for a free download that I've got for you. I want to send you a guide to help you get started or improve lighting that you already have. So hop over there to LearnStageLighting.com and I'll see you there. Thanks.